other thing is with all the diversity, there are certainly common denominators. And one thing that strikes me, there are two that come to mind immediately, but one is the outsider character. You have from Age of Innocence to Last Temptation to Taxi Driver, they're all outsiders. What does it say about your interests? What are you trying to tell us here? I'm an outsider. I mean, I, I, I'm attracted to those characters. I'm only, you know, I don't know that stuff going in. That's what I was attracted to. Years go by, some people, one person, one guy said something about it. Yeah. Outsider, another guy 20 years ago used the word loser, and I was a little offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am. I am, and those are the people I love, the ones who lose. They lose, they lose. Every one of my films, people lose something. Only one doesn't really lose is Jesus on the cross. And temptation, because at the last minute, he, he gets out of the temptation and he goes through the sacrifice, you know? Um, uh, but they are losers, you know? And I think we learn, but you know, what does loser mean? And there's a connotation like, oh, here's a loser, he's not gonna make it, she's not gonna make it. No, they lose something, but they learn something from losing it. There's a sense of loss. The loss of old Tibet. As the Dalai Lama said, you know, uh, at one point talking uh, with him, I was with him, with the, uh, Melissa Matheson and his people, and it was a time where uh, China was going to be uh, possibly um, the site for the uh, uh, World Olympics. And uh, there were a number of people saying, oh, it would be terrible giving China. This is 95 or 96, I think. And he said, no, you must look on the, on the positive side, because then all the eyes will be on China. It's always constantly looking at another way. They've lost that Tibet in a way, but his mind, no, to Tibet and Buddhism changes. Everything changes. Nothing, nothing, nothing lasts and everything changes. And so that's, that's the kind of loser I'm talking about in that way. Um, uh, uh, Judas in, in Last Temptation, he's branded the worst loser of all. And actually, in the Kazantzakis version, he's the one who was pivotal in the sacrifice. And, and so that, that's, you know, that's the outsider. And then you realize, too, you're an outsider. You say, you might as well just stay home and do your work. And, Try not to get into any clubs or anything. <laughs> As a while, there were people say, oh, he's great, come on, come and do this, and come and you go there, and then yeah, after about three years, really, they don't really want you there, just go home, do your work. Well, the outsiders attract a lot of attention in life, you know, well, these are the people that we, we're interested in. Yeah, but I think you have to protect that after a while if you start to take it yourself seriously. Um, that's why I did, you know, things like Shark Tale. <laughs> you know, I, 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 yeah, I mean, the, the Jeff Katzenberg of, uh, uh, DreamWorks and Marty do something that your kid could see. I have a little five-year-old now. So you're right. She loves it. She thinks I do uh, comedy. But, you know, <laughs> she, you know, actually, actually, Disney. It was very sweet. They they loaned me um, just just for a couple of times a private screening room for the kid on her birthday to see like Cinderella and the Lady in the Tramp and things like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, recently, the kid said to me, yeah, "Look, Daddy, it's a Cinderella, just like just like your movie." I said. It was in my screening room. Like, yeah, you're right. Just like in my film. How about that Pinocchio now? <laughs> so that's the worst that she should realize later on when she gets when she gets older. He didn't make Cinderella. <laughs>